Hey guys, it's Jo again. Welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to my channel. Today, DIY Doris is going to do painting this bathtub. Want to watch paint dry? No, just kidding, it's better than that. In this video, I'm going to talk you through the steps that I took to turn this crappy old bath into this. If you are new to the channel, stick around, think about hitting the subscribe button. It's where we do all things DIY without the guy. First up, I just wanted to take off all the silicone. So I got myself my Stanley knife or my box knife or whatever you want to call it and a chisel cut round the edges and then scrape the rest off. There might have still been a little bit of residue left, so then I got my sander and just sanded off anything that might have been remaining. So the paint that I bought recommended an abrasive cleaner, so I've just got some of this, I think it's like Glitz Power Paste, and scrubbed the life out of it. Did that a couple of times. I then sanded the absolute life out of it with wet and dry sandpaper. Now, I was gonna replace the entire plug and plug hole and all of it, but when I was in my local hardware store, I found this ripper little thing called Easy Fix, and it's literally just a new plug that sits over the top of all the existing stuff. So you don't even have to worry about it. I'll, um, I'll try and find a link to it and drop it in the description box below. But basically, you just take out the old drainy bit, silicon the new bit on, and you're good to go. You can get proper little bath repair kits, but I thought, well, where my cracks are in the bath, they're just kind of like on the edge. They're not anywhere that's gonna hold water. So I thought, eh, I'll get some heavy duty bog on the go. Now, when I'm applying it, I actually try and leave it a little bit proud or a little bit raised up from the surface because I am going to sand it down. I've sanded down my bog to what I think is acceptable. Forgot to film it, but that's cool. What I'm gonna have a crack at now is the tub and basin paint, because this is quite, well, it's quite convoluted really. Um, so apparently you mix it all together and then put it into two metal or solvent resistant containers. So I just got some jars from the reject shop couldn't find any metal sealable containers. So apparently, so you mix it all up, half and half it, one's for your first coat, and that's gotta be at room temperature. One for your next lot has to stay in the fridge. I don't know. Immediately seal both containers tightly, place one half in the refrigerator, allow the other half to stand for one hour at room temperature. Now it's pretty cold. It is, it's 10 past seven at night. It's freezing, that's why I got my beanie on. I think I need my fingerless gloves as well. Anyway. Application by brush. I've got my super duper awesome brush. So I'm going to do it all together while the ones that get into room temperature for like an hour. Are you supposed to keep this in the fridge? Because you would think it would be at room temperature already. Anyway, I've still got cat air in my bath. So I'll mix it up, bang one in the fridge, let one sit. Make sure that my bath's got no cat hair in it, give it a final wipe down, and then I'm going to give it its first coat. Part A. Ideal for bathtubs, laundry tubs, toilets, and ceramic tiles. Maximum adhesion and hardness on non blah blah blah. Yeah, whatever. Oh, easy. Fuck, that was lucky. Probably I needed one jar because I can put the rest back in one of these. Yeah. No, Sammy, no, no, no! Get out, go on, 
Go on. Out. Go on. Good boy. Sammy, go on out. Go on, bog off. Goodbye. Oh, here's hoping. We get in there. Tight, Mofo. Cool. Going in the fridge. I mean, should I just pop it back in there? Yeah, bollocks. Save the jar. Gotcha. Right, you're staying there. So, I've taped toffee tap hole with a sandwich bag and a hair tie, just to keep any drips off a bit. So it's day two, uh, the first coat is on. Was a bit freaked out when it was going on. It started bubbling and I was a bit like, Err. anyway, I think it's gonna need three coats. I also, I only used half of the half that I was supposed to use. Have a look. But I mean, it's setting like rock. So I reckon two to three coats, gonna look pretty good. Pretty happy with it. You guys may have spotted that my tiles surrounding the bath have actually been painted throughout the duration of this video. It is part of an entire bathroom makeover that I'm doing. Um, I've kind of filmed separate bits and I thought I would do a whole separate one on the bath. But yes, there is more bathroom videos coming. So another good reason to have a think about subscribing to the channel. So with those new taps fitted, Side note, if you want to see that, let me know, I'll do it in a separate video. I got around to my silicon. So I'm just using Selly's wet area silicon in white because I'm about to go around the bath with it. And I just chopped a load on there and then stuck that bad boy down. Now, here is my disclaimer. I'm not great at working with silicon. I've done a lot of it and I just, ugh, oh, never seem to get it quite right. But here's my hot tip. Once you've laid your bead down, spray it with a mix of a bit of soapy water. Just washing up liquid and water, spray it over before you do any other messing with it and then it won't stick to anything else when you rub it off. Allegedly, it leaves a nice clean line of silicon there. Bit messy, but it's the best that I can do. And there it is, the finished item. Super, super made up with it. I think it looks mint. And here we are, back to me, sitting in the bath. I'd just like to add that, I know I've got a hole in this jumper, but it's like my painting jumper, because I'm actually doing some other stuff. I've been decorating my laundry. Anyway, another video. Plenty more holes in the back of this jumper too. Obviously, this is gonna be part of a series of videos where I do bits and bobs to my bathroom. I'm going for the cheapest horror bathroom reno, or it should be like the horror bathroom cheapest reno possible. If you think this video was any good, 
smash that like button because then YouTube might show it to other people who are wanting to know how to paint a bath. You never know. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks very much for sticking with me. And just remember, Team Doris, we can do it. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.